Hello and welcome to my February empties, low buy update and declutters. In here I'm showing you everything that I finished, that I used up, that I decluttered and that I brought into my collection, maybe possibly. <laughs> um, within the month of February of everything beauty and makeup, so let's get right into it. I'm starting with the empties. The first empty that I do have is this Body Shop Shower Gel in Refreshing Passion Fruit. And I really enjoy this scent. I enjoy it so much that I have another one in my collection of this one. And yeah, I finally used this one up. Then a product that is in my empties regularly is this Nivea Black and White Invisible Silky Smooth Deodorant. This is one of my favorite deodorants. I use it every day. So this is another empty and obviously I do have another one already in my collection. Last month I also did use up two face masks. The first one is this Balea Milk and Honey Masks and I had there's like two separate parts of this mask here and I did use up both of these. This was nice, would not repurchase though. And this Nivea Q10 Serum Infused Firming Sheet Mask. I also did like this a lot, but again, I am just not too much of a fan of masks and I do have a lot of them in my collection still that I would not repurchase this as well. Then uh, Makeup Empty, this is the MAC Lip Glass in the shade Twinsies. And I did use it up now. I think you can see there's a lot, a lot of windowing showing, windows showing. So yeah, this is done now, and this is getting out of my collection. I do like the formula of the Mac lip glasses, even though they are a bit sticky. And I think not everyone is going to like this formula, but I actually really do enjoy this formula. Then I have two face creams. The first one is this Anna Yake, Anna Yake. I don't know how to pronounce this brand. This is the Bamboo Energizing Face Care. And this was in an advent calendar and I did not expect too much from it, but I absolutely fell in love with this. My skin loves this. And I actually am thinking about repurchasing this when I got through a little bit more of my face creams. This I really, really did enjoy. And another one that's a repurchase already because I tried, I enjoyed that much is this La Roche-Posay Ultra Night Cream. And I even opened this even though it's not really supposed to be opened. <laughs> so that's why it looks like this and yeah. I enjoyed this and I probably am going to purchase in the future again as well. Then the last skincare item that I use on my face is this Kiehl's Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. And this one was okay, would not be purchased though. But the one thing I would say about this, it's very sensitive. Uh, it's good for sensitive skin, I think. It's very gentle. Gentle was the word that I was looking for. I also did use up two body lotions. The first one is this one by Chloras, and I cut it open to get everything out of here. It's the Moisture Rich Body Lotion with Shea Butter, and I did enjoy this. I probably would not go out and purchase again. If I get it or if I'm purchasing it with a set or so, that's absolutely fine. It's a nice one, but yeah, not one that's absolutely special for me or so. On the other hand, the Body Shop Body Butter in Love and Plums. The Body Shop Body Butters I repurchase constantly. I have some of them in my collection at all time, <laughs> almost. So yeah, I love these and I did enjoy this one as well. A hair mask that I did use up is this Aveda Damage Remedy. 
daily hair repair and I absolutely love this. I used one of these up before and I still have a bigger one, like a bigger sample size of this one in my collection and I'm looking forward using the other one. And last but not least, I have three perfume sample empties. The first one is Valentino Donna. I did enjoy this, would not purchase based on the sample though. Then the Urban Sense Sensual Blend. I did mention before that I am not a fan of the Urban Sense perfumes. I did use up this one as a room spray. And then the last one is this Novelista Couture Chic. And this one was okay, but would not repurchase. So this is everything that I used up within the month of February of 2023. I do have some declutters though, and I'm going to show them to you now as well. The first item that I am decluttering is this Schwarzkopf Gliscour hair fluid and this unfortunately has gone bad. I know exactly why because this is super super old. This must be like around 10 years or so now and yeah it hold up for a long long time but now it's finally gone off so I am decluttering this now and this is a nice product but yeah I just obviously didn't use it regularly and then I am decluttering five of the lippy sticks by Colourpop and the only reason why I am decluttering is also because they've gone off they smell terribly this is the new formula the new packaging and apparently also new formula because I purchased this within the last half year they have gone off already and the old formula with the old packaging i have lippy sticks that are years and years old and they're still fine but yeah this smell and taste disgusting honestly i have um i purchased the set and i have maybe three or four left that are on the edge of getting bad but they're still okay to use but these, these are disgusting now. Um, this is Osnap. Out of Sync. Cami. Songbird. And Aftershock. And Aftershock I'm especially sad about because this is such a nice color on me. I absolutely would have loved using this. But yeah, unfortunately, this has gone off already. Yeah, so I have to declutter these. So this is everything that I used up and decluttered. In total, I used up 14 items and I decluttered 6. So I have 20 items in total here. And because this is also a low buy update I am already switching into the low buy update now and my goal with my low buy was to use up 50 items before I'm able to purchase anything and with the 50 I am declutter uh, I am counting also my declutters my empties and also just sample sizes as one item it doesn't matter so with these 20 plus the 14 from January. I have 34 items that I used up so far. So I only would have needed to use up 16 more items, use up or declutter, to be able to make another purchase. But I already broke my low buy. Um, yeah, let's talk about it. I'm going to put away these empties and showing you the items that I purchased. So in the intro of my low buy, I already told you that I was going to purchase nail polish from the pick up polish within the month of January because I saw the previous 
already in December and I knew that so so many of these nail polishes spoke to me and that I wanted to get them so I did do so but this wasn't my only purchase first of all let's talk about this purchase these are all polishes from the polish pickup from January 2023 I did purchase these and within Europe you have the possibility if you purchase from polish pickup you can also purchase some nail polishes from nail land hungary and if you do so you can combine the two shippings and you don't have to pay taxes or for shipping twice or something you only have to pay shipping from the nail land hungary and a little bit of a percentage for the pickup polishes and no taxes so it's actually what I did do so I'm showing you the <laughs> nail polishes I purchased from nail and UK, uh, UK Hungary as well so these are all the nail polishes that I picked up from nail and Hungary and yeah with this purchase I got to not pay taxes on these and stuff like that but yeah obviously this is a lot a lot of nail polish and i can already tell you that i did do another nail polish purchase within february but it's it's not here and it's not as many nail polishes anymore and i can already tell you again because it's already march that i did not pick up any nail polishes in march but yeah so um yeah it's a lot of nail polish. I am currently enjoying nail polish a lot. These are all shades that I don't, didn't have previously. And yeah, I just started getting to know indie nail polish and I absolutely love this now. So I think it will, sl my purchases will slow down again, but currently I'm at a high with this. Um, but yeah, I'm not regretting these because I absolutely love these colors. I enjoy these so so much um, But yeah alone With this alone I already broke my low buy so Yeah, <laughs> that's the first purchase that I made the second purchase that I made is with gloss gods and I did win a giveaway with Gloss Gods Cosmetics for a certain amount of uh, money or like a voucher and I did purchase these two liquid eyeshadows with the money that I won. This is the shade You Inspire Me and Let Me Love You. You Inspire Me, Let Me Love You. And these two I didn't pay anything for because I basically won them and then I still had a little bit money left on the thing I won and that's why I decided to purchase this so I kind of got a little bit of money off of this um, because of the voucher that I won This is how the palette looks like and yeah so also with this one I broke my low buy because I actually paid money for the palette but yes that's the second purchase that I made and I also did place a third order these are single shades by Terra Moons and Cleonard and I did order from the Monolith shop it's a shop in switzerland and they are bringing several indie brands together in one online shop and that's where i purchased something and these eyeshadows plus this cleonard nail polish and another nail polish again um yeah i did purchase there for the first time after like i did purchase there the first time since they focused on indie brands this shop was open previously with just I'm gonna say normal brands and that's where I purchased something from Flora and Curls I think is the hair care brand and yeah but this is the first time I purchased from them ever since they 
gotten so many new indie brands in their shop and I took the opportunity to purchase from different brands at once. I also did purchase a palette that I gave to a friend of mine and yeah so these are all the items that I actually did purchase within the month of February. I did not try everything yet. I did try out the liquid eyeshadow, I did try out the Cleonat. It's a magnetic nail polish, that's what I tried. It's my first magnetic nail polish, so that that's why I already tried it. I was very curious. curious. Then I also wear the Dreamland nail polish. I did wear the Lumen one. I did wear the Dam one. And I did wear the Polish Missili and I did use the Lock Up base coat from I Love Nail Polish and I think that's it. I only swatched the Dancing in the Sky palette so far. I didn't use it yet. Um, yeah. So where to go from here? I obviously did break my low buy. I again I already told you I did break it again with another pick, polish pickup nail land Hungary purchase combination purchase. Um, in February that is going to arrive in March I still want to try and get to my 50 empties hopefully next month already and because I'm going to travel at the end of April at slash the beginning of May I want to be able to purchase them and I'm going to attempt a no buy from now on, which is at the beginning of March, at least till April, so at least one month. So possibly two months of no buy are following these purchases, but we will see. Yeah, I know it's a little bit of a disjointed update again. But we will see how I'm going to do. Maybe I'm going to reach my 50 items used up at the end of March. I'm not sure because I need to use up 16 more items. That's a lot. I did do so in January and or almost did do so in January, did do so in February. But it's a lot in my opinion. That's only I also only reached those numbers because I decluttered so we will see um yeah maybe it fits together maybe I'm going to reach my 50 items used up in the end of April and then I'm going to be abroad to be able to purchase something uh yeah we will see we will see how it goes obviously I'm terrible at low buys and no buys that's something I already knew before I started this but I noticed that this low buy deterred me from purchasing even more. I browsed several online shops throughout the last two months because of some offers, because of some, because of some emails I got. And every time I thought, no, I'm on a low buy, so I'm not purchasing anything. So somewhat it deterred me from even purchasing more, but at the same time it was a fail because I did purchase and I did purchase a lot. Just looking at these nail polishes, I did purchase a lot. Um, but yes, enough of me rambling now and enough of me trying to explain my purchasing and buying habits. But yeah, I always enjoy if people are real on Instagram and YouTube and social media and even talk about fails or stuff they didn't like and be honest about it. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do as well. And yeah, that's finally it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're doing fine and I wish you a very, very nice day. Bye.